tired of boring old phone stands? Me too, that's why I made this one. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video. Before we get started really quick, if you guys enjoy watching DIY projects, make sure to go hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you guys don't miss out on new videos. So like many of you guys, I recently just finished watching The Mandalorian on Disney Plus. And first of all, I loved it, it's a great show. If you haven't watched it, go ahead and do that. I was feeling inspired to make something from the show, so I thought to myself, what might I need? And I needed a phone stand to go on my desk and I didn't want something just boring and plain looking, which I had originally planned on going out and buying or just 3D printing something simple. But then I had the idea, why don't I have Baby Yoda hold up my phone using the force? So I hopped in the garage and started making. Well, technically, I hopped on the computer and started a 3D print, but then I hopped in the garage and started making. So first off, I decided to print my Baby Yoda figurine on my resin printer just because I wanted to have a high amount of detail. If you guys wanna hear my thoughts on that printer, I will have that video linked in the description. And if you guys want a link to the file that I printed, I will also have that in the description as well. So once my print was done, I went to go post-process it. And to do that, first I start with an alcohol bath, then a little bit of time in the ultrasonic cleaner, and then rinsing it off in the sink. And finally, a cure under the UV light. Next up was making a prototype for the base. And really the main purpose of this was to get an idea of how many passes I would need to make on the table saw in order to get the slot for the phone just right. Once I had my prototype, I went ahead and cut the same slot in my piece of oak that I used for the base. Then all I had to do is just trim up my base to the right size. Since I had a little bit of burning from the table saw blade on my piece, I went ahead and took it to the belt sander to kind of get some of that off. This part was fun for me because I don't really get to use a chisel often. Um, I just used it to clean up the bottom of my slot I cut on the table saw as best as I could. It didn't end up being perfect, but I still have a lot of practice I need to do with using a chisel. Then I wanted to give my base a little bit of a chamfer, so I just flipped my trim router over and used it as an impromptu router table. So I originally tried staining my base black, but when I wiped it off, I didn't get the result I liked, so what I actually ended up doing later is wiping it off and spray painting it black. So this is where the model maker and me started having some fun. Uh, I got some cheap craft paint and I painted over some 120 grit sandpaper to give myself my sandy base texture that I was gonna use for the diorama.
and to attach it to my base I just used a little bit of spray adhesive. So next I kind of wanted to mock up where everything would go so I actually ended up going outside and grabbing some rocks and then I started placing those around to kind of get an idea of the look I would want. And what I actually ended up deciding on was fewer was better so I only did a couple of rocks in the back. So I wanted to add a little bit of a grass effect so I got an old chip brush and I just clipped off some of the bristles and glued them down with some hot glue. So the dirt on the base was looking a little bit too uniform, so I decided to give it a little bit of a wash with some other colors. At first I laid it on a little bit too thick, but then I kind of washed it away with some other colors as well. Baby Yoda had a pretty simple paint job. You're just going to use a darker tan or beige on the main part of his coat and his collar and the cuffs are going to be a lighter yellow. And the skin is going to be a light green, not a dark green. Once I did the base coats, I just went over it with a light brown wash. Uh, just to kind of let it seep into some of the creases and give it a little bit more detail. And my last step was to glue them down, and my phone stand was done. And that is it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to check out another DIY video like it, make sure to click up here. And if you want to subscribe to not miss out on any new videos, make sure and click down here. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in next week's video.